Okay, I forgot to put this in the video, so I went back and put this at the start of the video. So for Chaos Stars, you're going to need a Chaos Orb. I can't believe I forgot to explain where you can acquire these things. Uh, so they are going to drop in higher level maps, um, and specifically against bosses. Um, you're going to most likely find them against, uh, what are they called, authority bosses, okay? Um, as well as bosses in tier 11 maps, which are also authority bosses, and any of the key maps with a focus on the Serpens map. Serpens is a uh, drastically increased chance um, at any difficulty to drop a Chaos Star, and I'm not sure what the number monster level is for them to start dropping, um, like 7, 8, 9, whatever the number is. Uh, but obviously, the higher you can do, the better. Um, so that's where you're going to get your Chaos Stars. Anyways, we're going to hand it off to previous me for the actual rest of the video. Hey guys, and welcome to my Chaos Star um, explanation. Now, again, with all of my videos, I'd like to start up front knowing, saying I don't know everything there is to know about this particular mechanic. Uh, this is a dummy's guide. It's meant for the basic person to get a rough idea how the mechanic works so that they can start making use of it. Uh, if I make mistakes in this video, you will find them in the, uh, or corrections you will find in the description below. But for now, let's get into it. Okay, so a Chaos Star, if you don't already know, is a piece of gear. Okay, as you have your charms, there is the center slot. Um, <clears throat> it is particularly useful in getting uh, your blessing effects, which are very, very powerful. And generally, you are going to be trying to get uh, two of them. Okay, so a, a main one and a secondary one up to 140 so you can get their maximum blessing. Uh, whatever you're aiming for, using a star is going to be a great way to get this. Now... Uh, there are a few different kinds of the stars, okay? There are Tier 4 and Tier 6, and I'm going to start with those, and they are exactly what they sound like. They can use any charms up to level 4 or level 6 to make them. Uh, you need 6 to make one, so if I put this in, I would need to put one of each spot in. Uh, they don't have to be... Uh, that level they can be lower but ideally you want to use a full amount of one to try and get the maximum amount so that you can make uh, your thing get up to 140 um, each charm put in is going to give it a certain amount of blessing so if you use all of one type it's gonna give you all that blessing as a bonus if you use two you can split them uh, and you doing this, you can end up with some really powerful stuff. I'll go back to mine for a second. Uh, so mine does not have a full Cathor's Blessing. Uh, mine has two Cathor and four Akuben. Uh, and then it's blessed from the Charm Slots. If you don't know about Charm Slots, uh, wait till I do my Charm Slot video, because that'll be coming up very soon as well. Uh, so that helps me get to my 140, doing the split like that. But generally, if you're if you're working uh, or starting out with a Chaos uh, chaos Orb level 4 or a 6 to make your Chaos Star, uh, you're generally just going to be putting all of one type in. Now, when you put them in, uh, you are going to be given things from the charms are going to go on to the star as well. Um, there's also a Tier 3 star, but it doesn't carry over the um any of the abilities uh or the options sorry from your charms it's only four and six uh three i think you get for free for completing 10 or something now i don't know it's been a while um but this is for the the higher level stuff so as you put them in uh you'll get your blessing and it's going to pick randomly from the options on your charms prefixes and suffixes to add to the Chaos Star. Now, I don't know for sure, but I'm fairly confident you can only get one prefix and one suffix. Um, I've never seen one with more, but I also don't spend a lot of time looking at other people's gear, so I only know from my own experience. Um, so if you are trying to get your star to have the best stuff, 
you want to, all of your charms that you're using to have stuff that is going to go on that you want. Uh, so you wouldn't want to get something like burn rate on this one as a suffix uh, if you don't burn anything. That would be a bad choice to put in there. Now it's a 1 in 6 chance that it's going to pull it from that one. But if you put nothing but, like if you did, say, double crit. So if you did crit rate and crit damage on every single charm, the star is guaranteed to have crit rate and crit uh, damage. It's going, it's going to happen. Um, I don't, again, I don't know for sure. And again, I'll, if somebody were, you know, answers the question for me, I'll put it in the uh, description. There, if, there, if it can be more than th two, but I'm fairly confident it can only be two. Now, when you get um, beyond four and six, you run into the confusing ones, and these are the ones that people asked about, uh, so I'm probably going to spend a little more time on this. Certain Chaos 7s, 8s, and 9s will have these red options on them, okay? So if you look, instead of just having white this will have red down here. Now what these are is certain ones are going to force you to use certain types of charms. Okay, so in this case, uh, you have to put a Sephdar in uh, the charm. It, or it's not going to give you what you want. Um, now, you could use non Sephdars and not get the bonus stuff. But the bonus stuff is the reason you're using the sevens. Uh, so you could make a tier 7 with no Sephdars and not get this extra red text. Um, so what the extra red text does is it gives you more modifiers on your star. You can see on mine here I have three because I got a star that gave me two pref prefixes and a suffix. Uh, so I got my standard uh, stuff. I, almost, I seem to only have got one. I didn't know that you could only get one, but <laughs> I was fairly confident you'd get both. Uh, but I used bad stuff for this. So these are where the red text comes in, and these are what make these things really powerful, sevens, eights, and nines. Uh, so if you use a... Okay, hold on, where was that one I was using? Let's use this Boreal, because it doesn't matter. If you put a Boreal charm in, Okay, then that means it's going to choose one of the options on it and give you 80% of that value as an extra thing, that red text. Uh, you can get ones that have up to three. I think on red you can only get two, as far as I know. Uh, or one, sorry. It looks like only one. Uh, eights and nines will have two or more. Apparently this one's got three. Maybe that maybe that's what it is. One one and seven. <laughs> Again, I, I'm I, I haven't done a lot of work with this, so sorry. Um, sevens only have one. Eights have two. Nines have three. Okay, I'm dumb. There's that that's how it works. Uh, so certain ones are gonna have a type. Okay, so it's gonna say like boreal or the Sephdar or whatnot. The other ones are gonna have uh, these these other things. Uh, that are the positions of the charm. So mercy, um, vigor, and whatnot. And they they correspond to each of the charms. So like generosity is the up left or up right charm. Uh, mercy is the down charm. So as as you build your charm, keep in mind that your red text extra thing you're going to get is going to be from this. Now some of them say. Uh, specifically so this one says vigor and it's gonna be one of all the options uh, some of them say let's see if I can find one okay so like this one from the harmony charm okay so the up charm this is going to pick specifically the suffix and give you that value value at 70% uh, so you're gonna want to put in your uh, harmony slot one that has either two suffixes you want or specifically the one suffix you want as that extra red text you still have to follow all the uh, the rules of with your charm you want to put all the stuff uh that, that you want you want it to be the best possible slots for all the charms but keeping in mind that that specific charm slot is going to give you that extra red text again which is the good stuff uh 
and, and that's pretty much it uh, for everything I know about it. Um, I even just learned some self, some stuff here myself. Uh, I hope this helps beginners get farther. And again, if you are someone who actually knows what you're talking about and want to yell at me, feel free to do so in the comments because I would love to learn the inform information for myself and pass it on to others. Um, anyways, guys, good luck out there and uh, I hope you get your, your T9 stars soon.